called Brill. It was in a group called Brill. What up, Direct? Chilling, man. So thanks for joining us, man. Appreciate you. Oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. You know, I've, I've been um following y'all page for a minute. Yeah, so yeah. So whenever y'all asked, I was going to jump up and, and do something, so. I nah, love, love. Yeah. I appreciate that, man. Might as well introduce ourselves, man. So I'm Captain Brill, member of Team Brill. Okay. And I'm Dr. Brill, the other member, the other half of Brill. So yeah, there's two of us in the team. Okay. I like yeah. how y'all got the Brill in your name. Hey, man. Hey, man. Bad rap. <laughs> Brill. In and out, in and out, in and out, man. Um, okay. Yo, Doc Brill, do you want to wanna lead this, man? you want to run with this? And then we'll take from that. I know you're pressed for time. I'm slightly pressed for time as well. So we're going to make it kind of quick. Um, hopefully, we can jump in another time when we'll all have a bit more time to go in on stuff. I know you have to travel and stuff as well. Direct. We, one, um, maybe not today, but another time, I want to talk about the whole beginning, how you got into the started the grind time thing and the rap grid and all that stuff. All right. Um, but we'll keep it king of the dot for now because you've got a big event coming up on Sunday, right? Right, right. right. So basically, the, the Grand Prix, uh, what is that all about? What's the whole objective of that, um, firstly? All right, so the Grand Prix has been a part of King of the Dot for years, and it's basically like a tournament that they put together. And, um, you know, the winner usually gets a shot at the chain or the winner will become the champion. That's how they always did it in the past. Now with everything in battle rap changing and them linking up with Twitch this time around, um, you know, they put up $50,000. And, uh, you know, anyone that's ever been a part of King of the Dot wanted to be a part of King of the Dot and, uh, you know, just has the time to, to put together something crazy, you know, we knew it was going to be a part of this. So really, this is, this is like the evolution of the tournament style of battle rap because you, you guys see it coming back now. And I'm personally a fan of Judge Battles. I feel like, yeah. Not all the promo battles aren't, um, they're not always competitive. Yeah. People know they're going to get paid and go home. And I think right. this is a good step towards getting the best performances out of people. No, 100%. Right, right, right. With, with this whole setup, then it's, it's split up into different, is it teams? Because you've you got a whole, you got a team on Sunday, right? So is it split up yeah. into different sections, right? Yeah, so it's four different divisions. It's uh, West Coast, it's South, it's East Coast, and then it's North, which is really like, it's Midwest and North because they wanted to be able to involve people from Canada and also, you know what I mean? And that, that's going to be in Detroit too. So, you know, that's like right next to Canada. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, they called me, asked me to, uh, to, you know, to help set up the matches, but also inform me that I was going to be a team captain and, you know, we're all going to be competitive, you know, and try to try to put our best rappers in there. So we all be coast banging, team banging, stuff like that, going yeah. hard for our people, you know. So I've just been in constant contact with the MCs. Um, you know, we letting them know who the judges are and stuff like that. Anything they need, I, I basically took the lead on that. All right, right. Yeah. So was it would you personally sit down and select who would be in your in your division? Was it you personally that sat down and mapped it out or was it given to you on the plate kind of thing? All right, so there's six of us, right? It's myself, Poison Pin, Organic, Gully, and uh J Pro and Lush One. Right. So we kind of talk about everything together. But when I was asked to be a part of the team, like this, this thing has been moving so fast. Like we put this thing together fast as hell. So um, it basically was like, you know, these are some people we'd like. And they had already called a couple people. And I basically just filled in the blanks and did the rest. Okay. Right. So it, was, it was a team effort. You know what I'm saying? But I had a, I had I had say in my division. All right, cool, 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 yeah. cool. So the whole judging situation, because there's a lot of controversy <laughs> in the last yeah. week on that. Like, what's your viewpoint on the whole judging and how the judges are selected and the whole controversy surrounding that? Um, well, we have a judging system. We have a judging scorecard. And I could probably uh, – have you guys seen it yet? I've seen, I've seen a bit of it on, um, on, online, yeah. yeah. I, I can uh, – I'll send you a pic, the actual picture file so you can see what it says on there. Um, so all the judges are provided with the scoring system. Um, and it's like boxing, you know, you score around like 10-9, 10-8. If they choke, um, you can get a 10-7 if you choke in a round. Uh, and then, you know, there's a bunch of, it, it tells you what's a, what a choke is, what a stumble is, what a slip up is, and how to score each one every round. So we put a lot of effort into it. And I just feel like those judges didn't really reflect all the work that we put in. So after seeing how it worked out at the first one, uh, we definitely put a lot more effort into pre prepping the judges and make sure that they're clear on what they're doing. And like you guys will see at the face off on Saturday, 
Mike, we'll be going over the judging again. And then before the battle start, I'll be going over the judging again. And I'll even be bringing a couple of judges on camera. Um, we changed the system. So there's going to be two uh, webcam judges and there's going to be two live judges in the venue. And then the fifth judge is going to be the fans again. So the two judges in the venue, we're going to put on camera. You know what I'm saying? They've all agreed. They know it's at stake. Plus we're doing a scoring system uh, where we're grading the judges based on the fan vote. So like, I don't know if you guys saw, but organic released these cards. So it's like, let's say the fans voted, let's say uh, in disaster and frack, I think it was like 75% of people or something like that thought frack won, right? Mm -hmm. So if you voted for frack, you'd receive a fan score of 75%. Mm -hmm. And um, they take all, all the battles on the card and they give you like an average score based on the four battles that you judged. And we're trying to make it so that the judges that the fans like the most can move on and judge the later battles. Mm -hmm. So even if there is anybody that's a little shaky in the beginning, like they'll move on with the battlers the further the tournament goes. Right, 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 right. You so know, hopefully, hopefully that makes it, yeah, fireproof. Yeah. I mean, we knew there was going to be kink somewhere. Like everything couldn't go 100% right, but we think we got off to a good start. And I think that worked out for Frack, man. Like, yeah, yeah. I've never seen somebody jump to, to start him that fast in my life. And I'm like, four hours, he was hot. <laughs> what about battle rap moments, you know? Right. That was dope, though, because we knew when the tournament started that because you're going to see matchups that you wouldn't normally see, that we were going to get some new stars. Yeah. But we just didn't know who it was going to be. Yeah, yeah. And Frack is loving it, though. He's, he's, he's chilling right now. As he should. Yeah. I, I, I see, like, Don Don the Don calling him out. All these URL guys calling out Frack right. now. Right. And it was it was cool because Summer Madness just happened. Mm -hmm. And for we only have four battles. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And none of them were like battles that have been in the works for years or anything like that. They kind of just got put together. So to see that become the number one headline was kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. No, no, that's great. Kudos, kudos to you guys, man. Like your your um your division looks pretty crazy, bro. So the Chef Tres versus Lord Zay battle, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that looks wild. Cap, um, Doc, do you want to go into that or do you want to ask something else before I go into this card? Uh, before we go to the card, I want, I want Direct to tell me who's the strongest, can, who's the strongest battler on the whole, in the whole division. In the whole grand the division. division? No, his division, Direct's division. Okay. I can't, see, look, I can't say that because I'm talking to these guys every day. Right. And I, 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 will, I will say this, though, because I know, I, honestly, I can't even tell you who the strongest battler is, and this is why. Because I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, Chef Trez, he's a fan favorite. Mm -hmm. He's been consistent. He got the ability to drop three of them things and change a battle. But the biggest thing to me that I'm excited about, because I know when our, our uh, card dropped, people, some people were like, oh, this doesn't have the craziest names on it. Mm -hmm. But when you call somebody and you say 50K, yeah. they whole thing changes. Yeah, facts. Everybody in my division is like, yo, I'm about to give the best performance of my life. Like, I need that money. So there's certain people that like, like Lada Zay, for instance, where I'm sure y'all seen him battle. He had some crazy battles. Then you saw some battles when he wasn't as crazy. Like I'm expecting like the craziest version of him yeah. because what was he it? like jumped out to his seat. What came out of the, the, the scene? Was it, um, uh, it was Danger Zone. Wasn't that Danger Zone battle? Yeah, yeah. Was the like, Danger Zone battle was, was popular with Lada yeah, Zay. Yeah. Yeah, and then um, he threw the flag in or something like that, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was that one, right? Okay. And then um, I think his, his probably his other most popular battle, my favorite, was when he battled uh, Side Boy on the roof. Oh, Side Boy, Side yeah. Boy on the roof, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we're fans a lot. Is it? We're trying to get him to London. We're trying yeah. to get him to come to London. Oh he yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure he'll do it. Yeah, he was booked. Let him know. He was booked before COVID, right? Yeah, just before COVID hit, he was he was like had his flight booked to come to London and then COVID messed it all up basically. Damn. So he. Way to London. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, nah, nah, I'm looking forward to it, man. Um, Doc, what else did you want to throw out, throw out before? We can talk about the battles. Though. We can talk about the matchups and uh, what direct think of the matchups. So, okay. Chef Tres and what they direct. How do you think about that matchup? You know what's funny is that when we were first setting these these uh matches, like there's certain people I just know was going to be an excellent battle. I didn't want to put them against each other, but we were also looking at like, who is going to give us the best battles in the first round also? 
Mm -hmm. You don't just want to do a bad battle just to make some other people meet up towards the end. We got to be fair. And like, Mm -hmm. also there was people we called, like some people had to cancel and stuff like that. So we had to move matchups around. So it was just like, I knew that Lotte and Chef Trez was going to be that one for our division in the first round. And I think right. all of them are good, but I, I see, like, the most feedback about that one. Like, People looking forward. I just think, every, one, everyone wants to see Chef. You know what I'm saying? But two, oh, like, looking yeah. back at, like, those Lotte Z, like, the rooftop performance and stuff like that, if we get that, I can't, like, I re- literally don't know who's going to win. And I think I think it's good because a lot of people, there's so many new people in battle rap since Lord since Lord has left, so a lot right. of them don't even know about him, right? Right. You know, so when he comes back, it's gonna blow a lot of people's minds. Hopefully, you know the ring rust ain't really there. You know he's good to go, and you know he's, hey, you know, he's ready. I've got, got a group. You know, I've got my group chat. Yeah. Say what? I said we got a group chat with all my guys. They're all ready. They're, They're all talking all shit. <laughs> 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 What do you think about Chef Tress, um, direct? Chef Tress, how, like, URO have treated him and, like, his actual stock at the moment within Battle Rap. Do you think he deserves more? Or what's your views on Chef? I think Chef definitely deserves more. And, like, I think Chef has a special skill set. And I think sometimes in Battle Rap, like, people go with names more than they go with matchups. And if you, if you, like, when you book battles, if you actually spend time talking to the battlers behind the scenes, then you see that, like, certain people, they just don't want to battle. You know what I mean? So you're going to get a certain type of performance. The fans don't. Yeah, everybody else don't. Guys. You know what I'm saying? But um, as far as, like, um, Chef Trez, I just think, you know, he needs the right opponents. Like, like I called him in lot of Zay and asked them if they wanted to do that matchup. And they were both like, yes, let's go. Like, that's my boy, but, like, I'm, I'm going to kill him. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, yeah, I think... I think Chef, and I'm interested to see Chef on King of the Dot because there's so many potential matchups with dudes who can also freestyle, who can also, like, just like you saw when he had the RBE battle with Sharon. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. I think Chef shines the brightest when you put him in those positions. And I mm-hmm. think, like, in some of his past matchups on other leagues, they don't, he doesn't always get those battles. Yeah, yeah. It'll be a good test for him, for Chef. It'll definitely right. be a good test. Yeah. Um, the next one is Scotty versus Soul Severe. Scotty's been he's been around for years. Scotty from Houston, mm-hmm. um, like Soul Severe, he's kind of new, wasn't he? He's from Gates of the Garden, right? Um, I wouldn't say he's necessarily from Gates of the Garden, but he's been around for a while. You know what I'm saying? He's been part of the uh, Atlanta battle rap movement. I think he's picking up a little bit of steam because he's done the Gates of the Garden battles. Plus, he yeah. had uh, a couple King of the Dot battles, so their fan base is excited about him. Um, funny thing about uh, So Severe is the first time I saw him was I was at Converse through this battle and uh, Joe Budden was judging like maybe like four years ago, five years ago and uh, there's an artist that was popular out here, his name's Sayari and uh, he signed the cash money right now and uh, him and So Severe had like this crazy battle and when, uh, like, the dude, Sayari, he was calling out Joe Budden, dissing Joe Budden. Like, the battle was crazy as shit. And um, nobody filmed it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was like, yo, who is this dude? Because I, I didn't even, like, I've seen him before, but I didn't get his name. But he ended up popping back up. So, you know, like, ever since then, I've always been excited to see him get another big look. Because, like, that would have been crazy if it came out. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? I think, I think it's but- Bro, I think Scott is um he had his year like maybe two and a half years ago. Do you remember that? He was, he had his thing, he had a run, and then something happened, he just didn't quite crack that ceiling. But he was on a roll and then something just happened, you know. He was only slower leagues, I mean the, the, the smaller leagues at the time. Well, I think the thing with Scotty is he's a league owner, right? So he uh, owns uh the Houston barcode. Right. I, I used to live out in Houston. That's how I met Scotty, because I saw him battle um in some houston battles like a real long time ago and uh they the south kind of has does their own thing like there's a bunch of mcs from like new orleans who would meet up and battle the dudes from houston and like official used to be a part of that um Mm. there's a guy named t riley a girl named taylor j like they had a lot of talent Mm. and so when they asked me you know about the self division i felt like it was necessary to get scotty especially because he had that big battle against loso that's one of my favorite battles Mm. the past few years and I, I just love Scotty's creativity. Yeah. Um, and he doesn't sound like anyone else. Like I love, like I don't like when people 
that aren't from the East Coast uh, or aren't from New York yeah. uh, start battling and then they want to sound like New York or they want to sound like Philly. I like people sounding like they're from where they're from. Right. And that's why I like Scott. That's the cool thing about the South is we got people with different swamp. accents and stuff like that too, you know? Like Swamp, right? Yeah, Swamp Swamp also. Yeah. I mean, and I think I think it adds to your delivery. Mm. You know, it, it gives you, it's like a little more charisma when you sound different. Mm-hmm. Is, there no, is there nobody from the UK that's going to be repping? That would have been. Um, not in this one. And I think it's because just with flying people around and stuff like that, we want to be careful because yeah. we didn't want to book someone and then they can't make it. And then, you know, you got a last minute change. We didn't, we want to have no problems with that stuff. And, you know, hopefully if we do it next year, we'll be able to expand it and make it bigger. Yeah. A lot of our um, UK followers obviously would never have heard of Soul Severe. Can you like talk about any of his attributes that some of our followers may look out for? Yeah, so so severe. He's he's very loud and he has a very commanding presence, right? So when I think of people like that, I think about like like disaster, for instance. Like if you ever see disaster live, have have you guys seen disaster live? No, we haven't. <laughs> okay, so like some people love him, some people hate him. Right. But when you're there in the room, he like commands the whole room. Like you can feel his energy. Energy, yeah. You know what I mean? And there's certain people who have voices like that. And so severe has a big booming voice like that. To where like it makes you want to react it makes you want to say oh you know what i'm saying and i think that like it, the dope thing about him is he doesn't uh use that as a crutch and lean on it though he also has bars and he has a real crisp delivery you know what i'm saying so i think him okay. and scotty is kind of a style clash but i think it will work i think it will end up good have you seen any of his battles though so it's obvious. Oh, have I? Have, oh, yeah, I've seen a bunch of so severe. No, 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 I'm, I'm talking to my partner in crime. Oh, 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 yeah. Have you, I've seen a couple um Gates of the Garden. He had a couple of two on twos. I've seen a couple of his shits on Gates of the Garden. So he's he's got a lot of potential here, yeah, definitely. Okay. okay. Uh, he also he also battled Charlie Clips on Atlanta Battle Rap. Okay. You know yeah, what we're yeah. not doing as, as as we're going through these cards, bro? You're not giving me your predictions. <laughs> Who you got? Oh no, I can't. I can't predict. Okay. This, this, right. That's fine with you. I know you know you can't be biased. That you come from <laughs> interests. But don't, let's talk the first card, man. As we go step by step, man. So we're talking about Lord of Zay. Um, Lord of Zay and Chef, bro. What are you saying? Chef's got that two one. Chef got that two one. What you say? What you say? I'm, I'm a Lord Zay with the upset, bro. Don't forget what Lord can do with. You see, there's energy, bro. You know, it's energy when you just Ugh. come on now. But Chef can just freestyle the energy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. The energy, bro. Nah, nah. And Lord can freestyle as well. He can always do the. Re- he can rebuttal. He can do first, um, first line rebuttals. Oh, there's levels to this shit. Like Chef is just like, five levels ahead of that shit, bro. You know what we've always said about Chef? We said if he had more energy, he'd be crazy. Right. Yeah, we Yo, Chef is one of those people. Remember how I was saying you got to talk to the battlers before the performance? Like I had to be like, yo, man, I want you to be excited. Like, don't do it if you're not excited. Yeah. And he hit me back like two days later, like, all right, now I'm hyped. I saw uh-huh. the trailer. <laughs> I was thinking about the money. Like, like a couple of the battlers called me like, yo, I had a dream about like actually touching the money. Yo, <laughs> yo some of them are spending it already, right? Right. <laughs> some of them spend the money already. Nah, I hear that. Um, and then what was the next? What was the next battle? Um, Cal, did you did you put your prediction on that one? Scotty, I haven't watched a lot of So Severe, so I just have to go with Scotty. You have to go with Scotty. Yeah, 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 same, same, same. Who we'll go next? Oops and Clone. Oops and Clone. I don't know much about Clone, bro. Clone's a puncher from bullpen. Mm. Yeah, he's a great puncher. Clone's a great puncher, and Oops, it's it's a it's kind of a style clash this battle because Oops like talk to people, he brings the whole, you know how to take an angle, the whole emotional Especially angle. now with all the, um, the BLM yeah. stuff happening, with Breonna Taylor stuff happening right now, I know we should definitely have an angle on that. Right, 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 so, right. I think that's the, um, for some reason, so I think if anyone spits around on that, it's an automatic W because how can you, you know? If, and especially, oops, oops is a, he's a politician, right? So right. the way he was spitting, it's going to have so much impact. Uh, especially with what's happening right now with all the judgments and stuff like that, bro. So, you know, but um, tell me about Clone. Clone, it's just a, he's a back-to-back puncher of a right? high level. Yeah. You right? um, so, Clone, um, well, like like you guys already said, he, he really got popular off bullpen. Mm. And I think he battled all the all-stars on the bullpen roster, but I feel like he's always been underappreciated because he's the only one that hasn't moved on to like 
huge leagues and have these big battles on huge cards. Right. So, right. you know, live, I live in Atlanta. So yeah. I kind of feel like I'm connected to the scene out here. And, you know, I've been living in the South for years. So, and like the same thing with Scotty, like I want to see people get they just doing their shot on these big yeah. stages. And um, Clone, I'll never forget, he had a battle on bullpen at verse against a guy named C Money, right? Mm. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, and that battle was crazy. And crazy. they had bet some money on it and everything. And like, like the judges was too scared to judge at the end. And like, it was all type of shit going on. And I always told Clone, like, I saw how he performed when the kind of like the pressure was on and there was some money on the line. And I always told him like, if I ever have an opportunity for you, I'm gonna circle back and I'm gonna mm -hmm. make sure I, you know, I, I check in with you. And uh, right. yeah, like, and, and the cool thing about Clone is like, like I want to help bring some new talent to bullpen and Clone's not, he's not signed to anybody. You know what I mean? He doesn't have a bunch of, uh, I mean, uh, to King, King of the Dot and he's not signed to anybody. He doesn't have a, bunch of matchups set up. And I think he would just be, it would be dope to see him on King of the Dot and see like how his style would do. So. Yeah. And the different matchups he could have as well. Be different right. possibilities. Exactly. Yeah. It, just, it, just open, it just opens up the, the world of possibilities for, you know, some of the new guys. But um, was, it, was it your idea to put Oops and Clone to put that together? Because it's, it's, it's a wild style clash to me. So what happened is, um, I'm trying to think. Should I, should I say this? Say All right. So, <laughs> so, oops. Like, like I said, a couple people, we thought were going to do it and couldn't make it. So I'll tell you all this. Um, we had oops scheduled to battle um, Nestle. Mm. But Nestle has some stuff going on with COVID. Mm. And, um, you know, we didn't Nestle, Nestle, Nestle got that, by the way. Just a quick one, just a <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so we, we thought just from the conversational perspective, it would have been amazing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, but then with, you know, a couple battlers not being able to do it, you know, and like I said, Nestle, uh, you know, he's good now, but he has some stuff with COVID going on. Mm. And, you know, we all agreed that it probably wouldn't be the best for him to mm -hmm. um to do the battle under those conditions because even when he felt a little better then you have to rush the writing yeah you know yeah I mean? yeah so um you know he wasn't able to do it and mm -hmm. um so just sliding the matchups around and stuff clone like oops actually said yo give me clone oh you know I mean? so, yeah. so we were talking to him like how you want to do this give me clone bro i'm ready mm -hmm. and then you know when i told clone he was like Let's go. Let's get it. I need that 50k. Right, right, I'm sorry, right. I got to do it to him. Oh you know shit! I mean? So yeah, actually, uh, we met. We met he came out to London on Premier Battles. We actually met up. We actually met him one time in December. Oh okay. Yeah, yeah. Nah, he's a cool good guy. Dude, he's a, great dude. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. Yeah, um, he's, he's good people, man. Um, he's a funny guy. Um, I think. I do think, you know, it's obviously it's a great opportunity for Clone, but if Oops asked for it and he said, yeah, give it, give, give, give it to me, give me, uh, like, so, I feel like it's a setup, bro. Yeah, I, I, think, I, I think. I think Oops was in a situation where he, he felt, he was just on, he was just rolling. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah, so he's on a roll. He like, I could write for anybody, but, yeah, but he's like, yeah, sense. Clone deserves the shot, let's go. That makes sense, that mm -hmm. makes sense. Yo, D, yeah, I need I to bounce, my cab is about to hit in a sec. Um, Doc, hold it off, made you the host for this meeting. Oh, so you can end it. It's still recording on my side. It should stop automatically when the meeting ends, all right? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, D-Rec, hopefully you can catch up again, my guy, and do this properly. Um, unfortunately, yeah, not at the time. But, bro, again, I really appreciate you showing up for us, man. Thanks for all the support online and everything, man. We do see it, man. We do see it. And mad uh, love. Mad love, no, yeah. No doubt. And I will say this. There might be a, a surprise coming today. I don't know yet, but concerning, like, every, my division and the Grand Prix, there might be a surprise. So if you guys want to follow up next week, I'll I'll hop on. Yeah, we can get you down to that. Yo, ha carry on the conversation. I need to bounce. Love, man. Brill shit. Carry on the convo, guys. Thanks. Love. All right. Yeah, we'll definitely, definitely, definitely like talk next week direct. Okay. Yeah, but um, there's one more battle we're gonna talk about, which is Bricks versus Hayes the Family Man, right? Yeah. Hey, Hayes the Family Man, that's someone, and not again, that I'm not 100% familiar with. Can you give our followers a little insight? Oh, you're about to it? laugh, right? So look, 
Spell spell haze backwards. Hold on a second. No way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> yeah. No way. Yeah, yeah side like that. 3-0 still. <laughs> oh, you got them 3 0? No, 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 I have that. I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. He's a favorite of mine. Sorry, he's a favorite of mine. Yeah, I, I think that it's so funny because Sai hasn't really battled on King of the Dot, but right. I think he, he excels in a certain type of environment, right? Right. So right. when we were at, we were at, like having a discussion and throwing names back and forth about who should battle, you know, mm-hmm. and he lives, he lives down the street from me. So right, right. it was easy and I kind of, you know, because he had retired. And I was trying to just gauge, and he was like, "Yo, if I do this, I'm Hayes the Family Man, like completely, completely new person." You know what I mean? I think he deleted all the side boy crap. You know what I'm saying? He's completely. I haven't seen anything of side boy. I haven't seen anything in the last maybe year or so. I'm not sure. Yeah, because he retired. He didn't want to battle no more. But like I said, for 50k, he jumped up out the phone. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he's not someone to play with. And this is like two bricks and side boy, two guys that have been battling for years. Right. I'm right. surprised they even haven't crossed paths yet. Yeah, and they've been cool, yo. I, I guess it just never, the conversation never came up. But this is what I will say. I think that people are more used to Bricks coming with crazy lyrics and they're more used to Sire, I mean, Hayes, coming with um, performance and being versatile and being funny. Right. I think <laughs> what I will say is this is going to be close because if you remember, Bricks and Frack had a classic on KOTD. Yeah, they did. Yeah, you know yeah. Bricks definitely stepped up his versatility, so I think this is the right time for Bricks to be involved in something like this. The right time is the right time for him. But another thing about this division, so you got, it's another question now. So you got Sai and Chef. Them two have battled before on the bullpen, right? Sai and Chef. No, they battled before on bullpen. I've got it saved in my favorites. Oh shit! Yeah, but you you know what's funny? A couple of these guys have battled before, right? And like. <laughs> We 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 tried to give it. All I can say is we tried to not give him the um the first round matchup. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Chef almost battled everybody in Atlanta. It's hard. It's hard to match him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another That's reason why why he's battling Lattice because he he ain't battled Lattice yet. No, he hasn't battled a lot yet. Yeah, that's crazy. This is a really really strong uh, division, and it's got a couple of um like hidden gems in it. This division. Right. I, I feel the same way. Yeah. Um, but regarding Bricks and Bricks is another guy who in this division kind of deserves more respect again what do you think it is with Bricks that he hasn't ever really attained respect within the battle rap culture what is it with Bricks well I think in the beginning like is the part part of the whole SONS movement mm-hmm. um, you know they were all a little popular to begin with right and I think right, Bricks right. was rolling and I think kind of when he battled Sue Surf like, I know stuff behind the scenes. That battle was, like, it's kind of last minute. Then you didn't know if he was doing it, if he wasn't doing it. So I think right. the Sue Surf battle happened. It kind of hurt him a little bit because, right. you know, he, like, that was his shot to get on. Like, I didn't know Sue Surf was going to be as big as he is now, but he was big back then. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And a lot of people, that was their first time seeing Bricks. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then yeah. I feel like uh, it took him a little while to get his performance together to match his bars. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I feel yeah. like he's done a really good job of reinventing his style and making it work for him. And I think this is, I think the time is good for him. I think this is his time to shine. You know? It is. I feel, I feel that too, yeah. yeah. So this is a, a great, great division. Regarding the, um, before we go, we've got about five minutes left on the clock on this one. Okay. Um, before we go, regarding the Twitch still then, um, how do you, like, is that a positive for Battle Rap, the whole movement with, Going from the PPVs to the, the apps now regarding caffeine and Twitch. What's your views on how battle rap is moving? Well, you know what's funny is I knew battle rap couldn't always exist on YouTube. You know what yeah. I mean? Because I feel like, and it, plus YouTube has all these regulations now. And you know, every platform is going to have their rules or whatever. But it's just right. like, you can't get stuck to one platform. Like I always felt like all battle leagues should have their own website and have all their own stuff together. Or just be able to uh like use different platforms to their advantages in different ways and i think for the fans it's amazing because you're getting all this for free <laughs> yeah it's crazy it's mind right yeah, you know what crazy. i mean y- y'all getting like bad battles for free 
you know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think from the leagues, it's good too because it, it's 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 a step towards corporate America. You know what I mean? And we're really starting to do to do business and open the door for for artists, you know, to get more money and more exposure as well. You right, know what right, I mean? right. Because of these deals, I think we're able to do a lot of things we couldn't do before. Like it would it probably would have been hard before to do a fifty thousand dollar competition. Right, you know of course. I mean? Now yeah. this is like we could just come in and like we're gonna change somebody's life with that money, you know? That's cool. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. But um direct again, thank you for coming on today. But this will lead into because 'cause we're gonna we're gonna definitely do another thing next week, maybe. We'll do it more properly, we've got more time. Yeah, that's cool. So we, we can recap and also I don't know if you know this, but I love UK battle rap. But as far as the history goes, bro, mm. so like, check this out. So, oh. a friend of mine, uh, I'm from Boston, right? And a friend of mine, he's from Boston, but we met up in Atlanta. He's a DJ. His name is DJ Kerosene. He mm. uh, went to high school, I believe, in the in London, and he mm. came up with Tony K. Ke- I mean, with uh, I said Tony K. What am I talking about? He came Tony up. D. With, yeah, Tony D. You know what I'm saying? He came up with Tony D and he was there when uh, Chester P battled Eminem. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so I know a bunch of stuff. Uh, I, I used to, I was real in tune during the um, old jump off battles. You know what I mean? So I know about like, I know about Saint, I know about Pro Green. I got, I got the Pro Green versus Series Jones battle somewhere on my computer. You know what I'm saying? We have to talk because um, the jump off days. We have to talk about that. Not a lot of people know about that. I know about all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I know all kind of shit about UK battle rap. Okay, so the next time we talk, we'll do a recap on the King of the Dot thing, and we're gonna talk UK battle rap and your beginnings too, because you are a legend. So we need to talk, tell people about grind time, rap yeah. grid, everything, how you come, and you can rap too, direct. You know, you oh yeah, <laughs> appreciate it. Yeah, so we're gonna do all that in the next one. But um, thank you for coming on today. Um, good luck for Sunday as well, and then we're going to catch up after. And um, I'm sure all the predictions are going to come right, the ones I said are going to happen. <laughs> I bet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so definitely shout out Team Brill. I appreciated the interview. You know what I'm saying? Keep posting on the gram. You know what I'm saying? I love some of the stuff y'all put up. And um, yo, message me. You know what I'm saying? Really? If there's an announcement to be made today, message me right after you see it, all right? All right, cool. We'll get hit you straight up. We'll hit you straight up direct. All right, bro. Take care. Yeah, we'll talk. We'll talk. All right. Peace. Salute. 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 Fine. Going in fine. Every time you get a loaded line, a corona gets a lime.